Yo, has anyone seen Murphy? Do you know where he is? I can't find the guy anywhere. Yeah, I'm looking for him. I'm pissed. I've never been so mad. I'm so mad. I don't really get mad that often. But when I think about Murphy, oh my god. Like it makes my blood boil. Nobody is seeing him? Nobody. I'm so mad at Murphy. Why am I mad? <sighs> okay, so the same way that beliefs and thought patterns can be passed on generationally and we think and feel like they are our beliefs because that's what we've been told and that's what's been passed to us. You know what I mean? So it was in my belief system that if something in your life is going great, something else has to suffer. And I believed that to be true and so did a lot of other people. Essentially, I grew up believing that Murphy's Law was a real fucking thing. So that's why I'm looking for Murphy because this shit has gone way too fucking far and is literally ruining people's luck and their lives. Fuck you, Murphy. Murphy's Law is not a law of the universe. It's not. There's 12 of them, that's not one of them. There's the law of divine oneness, the law of vibration, the law of correspondence, the law of attraction, the law of inspired action, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy, the law of cause and effect, the law of compensation, the law of relativity, the law of polarity, the law of rhythm, and the law of gender. No Murphy! No law about you, Murphy. Who the fuck is he? I'm just gonna... <clears throat> Murphy's Law is just such bullshit. Like, the fact that I became this, like, funny, cute thing to say is just so disturbing to me. Like, <laughs> Murphy's Law. Oh, that's just Murphy's Law. <laughs> oh, Murph. And because we say it all the time and we believe it to be true, we bring it into our lives. Thanks, Murphy. Yeah, shit still happens, but there's no Murphy's Law, okay? See, Murphy just created this perspective that a lot of us now have. It's like wearing a pair of sunglasses that make the world look a certain way. You feel me? So unless you take off those bullshit ass shades, baby, the world is never gonna look any different. I see Murphy as like this guy that like constantly like runs into trouble in life and then he's always just like, well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Murph. Murph. No, Murphy, no! No, I don't feel a lot of anger in my life, but when I think about Murphy, <clears throat> not a fan of you, Murphy. So mad at Murphy. God, ah, he's such a butthead. Yeah, I said butthead. Cruel, I know. Maybe I should write him a letter. Dear Murphy, your law is dumb and is consistently holding beautiful people back from living a miraculous and incredible life. You are preventing people from knowing it's possible to be successful in every area of life. Health, wealth, happiness, love, boom. That just doesn't work in Murphy's world, apparently. You just have it all wrong, Murphy man. Like, I'm not even mad anymore. I kind of just want to like give you a hug and have a little chit chat you know like is this guy still around because he needs help good shake and then like a lot of love we need to undo all of this programming that he's got going on and
passing along to other people. We have enough trauma. Thanks, Murph. So here we are in 2021, still talking about Murphy's Law. And how long has it been? I'm going to look it up. All right. So it turns out Murphy's Law is actually pretty recent. It was also written about in a scientific journal. And Murphy was an astronaut and apparently also an optimist. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's really funny. All right, I'm sorry, Murph. Turns out you're a pretty dope human, actually. <laughs> Apparently it has to do with like outer space and like very like specific science and Murphy saying that if something co can go wrong in outer space, it will. So technically you were talking about something that was out of this world. It didn't apply to this world. People just got you wrong. I'm sorry, Murphy. I take everything back that I said. Okay, bye.